Greetings, love, peace, and unity worldwide to the corporate wards and my Aboriginal people. Love and peace. Now, what I have to go back to the again, reform you people about these monoracial principles. Monoracial mean racist, affording different treatment to different type of people. Prejudice, okay? All right, whether race, color, ethnic, religion, background, they're just being prejudiced, okay? And it could be against the nation too, okay? So today is back against these monocrats, which are called politicians, these thieves who take over your government and exploiting you with the so-called revenue raisers, which they refer to as taxes, you know? And like a, a, a system said to me, if we don't pay tax for the country, well, we never create that into your leader, Ain't you supposed to run on your own destiny? So why you want to fall under a next man contract or a next man bracket? A uh, next man way of thinking. Why can't you think for yourself? Why are he going to take... Okay, let me ask you one simple question. Is the taxes that you pay, are it benefiting you? When you can't pay rent or you can't even buy a proper meal to feed your family, can you go back and tell a politician you want back some of the tax that you're paying? No, these are thieves. So you think it's necessary that you pay taxes to exploit you? Can't you wake up? Can you stop being naive and living in a denial? Come on, people. Get the shit out of that sleep. Why do you think the Monroe Doctrine was written? It was written so that they could create this thiefing system we call representative government and rob the people of their rights and their wealth in the form of taxes, which is an illegal process. That's why they written Monroe Doctrine Part 2, which is the copy that I have, to abolish that system there and get rid of the representative government, which is the politicians, which are called civil servants, just like the police officers they use to enforce policy. Okay? So, you people have to get this thing straight and stop playing a game with yourself. Wake up. This is not an illusion. This is reality. Okay? Stop telling yourself, oh, we can't do nothing about it. You can't do something about it. Protect your rights. Now, in most of the cases, although the Constitution protects the Aborigine, the, the people, the citizen, the Aboriginal people would have more rights than a citizen. Why? Because the Aboriginal people are not corporate wards. So being a corporate ward would have limited you. Because in the 14th Amendment, a corporate ward is an artificial person. They're not classified as human being. And they don't have rights like the Aboriginal people. Okay? So, therefore, being a corporate ward would limit you. You would have certain rights, but it would limit you. So to get rid of this stigma and discrimination within the system and the way they treat you, and exploitation, you would have to go for your whole rights. So you better off doing after David of Sovereignty, Declaration of Identity, and becoming completely free. Excuse me. So that you can know the steps and the proper procedure to be taken. So you could defend your rights. As a citizen, yes, you have some rights. You could defend certain parts, but they will still try to tamper you and tell you that you're a citizen and you have to abide. Okay? And they will use the police officer to enforce slavery upon you. Now, these statues that they write in the so-called edition of the Constitution is not real. It's called a policy. It's not a law. It's called for revenue raisers, the so-called tax system, with the immigration, the, license, the driver's license fraud, the land tax, and so on and so on. They're not real. Okay? That's a system that they design. They have to exploit you. They came the Tifa government because it says in chapter 2 that the base of government is the base of the people and the people are the government. And therefore, in fundamental policies, whether or not it implemented into law, it don't always be law. It must be with the best interest of the people. But yet, if they don't, they make policies on their own to exploit you all the time. They raise false flag and talk about Go, criminal activity and all these things when they are, the, they are the criminal and they are the fault why the element of destruction arises amongst our community and in our cities because when they make laws to rob you of your rights your privilege and your freedom and tell you as there is against the law which is not law that they're just enforcing because you don't know better okay that causes the element of destruction to arise in your community and your village. That's the so-called criminal element. Now, for your information, the true criminal are the politicians and the security forces with the badges. They are the criminals. 
the one one so-called gangsters because the real gangsters are the police with badge they are organized criminal element okay the so-called criminals that they refer to to raise the false flag to claim that they're going to do stop search to search for gun and and drugs and all these things that's their system they create that environment they create the beasts they are the beasts everything that comes from within the system are the creation are the production so basically the element of destruction is them so if you get rid of them you get rid of every destruction around because they create laws to rob and exploit the people it's not actually a law a policy get it in the railway they create policies to rob the people such as the marijuana the burning of the marijuana you know what i mean in 1973 by president carter such as that that was done in the same monoracial principles of the so-called you know what i mean government system which is the civil servants that's supposed to be serving the people because they're not government government is the people that's the reality of it they create that that was one of the way of exploiting you and they create many different Revenue all river system, such as the license fraud, immigration fraud, land tax fraud, and not for us. Okay? They do these things now because they know that to control the masses, not only will we have to make policies and use the police to enforce it, and do not teach them law, because if they learn law, they will realize that we are thief and that we are taking over the system and that we are implementing things to exploit them and that they couldn't get ahead and they couldn't really live comfortable because they would not be able to afford a lot of different stuff to take good care of the family in a proper way because we are exploiting them in the form of taxes and with that burden that we put on the shoulder every day for all different type of taxes it has a toll and it has stress and it brings forth diabetes and all different type of problems and pressure within the system and within the pharmaceutical system that they also put in place with it to help destabilize your body and break you down it's also a thumbs up for them to help demolish the population and weaken you. So you can't, and the curriculum in the school are also designing that form. And in the churches, the religion, they also design of a distraction and the sports and the TV with all these movies that is, has nothing constructive for your educational system to, to break you from this course that is just taking you from focusing on the real picture so you're distracted. All these things are distractions. So these are designed so that you don't really get out of the box and have the critical thinking. You stay in the box. So that's a program. So that's why you see me don't really focus on TV news. I don't listen to the media because that's corruption. They're liars. They want to make themselves look good so they'll tell you anything they want to hear. And for the fools who like to go out and listen and all the news to this and they jump up for joy, yo, you're just a, you're just a ward. You're just a ward of the state and you're actually a robot. You're programmed. But the issue that I'm getting on, the monoracial principles, okay, that these politicians enforce on the people is fraud, the license fraud, the immigration fraud, the land tax fraud, and many other taxation systems that they create. It is why they take over your system. Now, I'm going to read a few stuff here to enlighten for you, okay? Okay, 25, chapter 3 protection and rights of freedom fundamental rights and freedom okay now life liberty security of persons and protection of law that's for everyone okay freedom of conscience of expression and assembly and association and protection for for the privacy of his home and other property other property and from the provision of property without compensation so when they do these illegal things First of all, coming into your home without proper procedure, which, okay, you're a carpet ward. In other words, to come into your place, they have to have a law that prescribes them a warrant. And the owner must be active at the time they come in. And the warrant must have the correct name on it. All these things has to play with whether they have legal jurisdiction or not. So it would mean illegal. So even as a citizen, jurisdiction still is conformed for you too. Well, for Aboriginal, they have no jurisdiction. Those things they can't play. The only time they can come around an Aboriginal person is if the Aboriginal person damage of property or damage of person, which is common law. That's the only... They can't bring corporate law around Aboriginal. That doesn't apply. 
So these illegal thing, what it does to us Aboriginal people when they do come around us is a policy, the police and them enforcing and it's criminal element that they're going on with. So they, they, they are criminals, okay, with a badge, okay? So I just want to enlighten you people a bit more about these thief who take over your government. Again, any person who is unlawfully, listen to this carefully, any person who is unlawfully arrested or detained by any other person shall be entitled to compensation. Therefore, from the other person or from any other person or authority on whose behalf the other person was acting, they must be compensated. So stop going around when you beat them in the court, you win the case against them and leave it just like that. My youth, they like to charge you. And in every charge, there is a fine because that's how the system works. They exploit the people. So in everything they call revenue and raises. So they have charges and they implement fines. They could do the jail time and they could also fine you. It could be fine and confined or they could just fine you. And if you can't pay a fine, they put you in jail. But they still get money through the system, with the tax system, through the jail, because the jail system, they thief the taxpayers money more for that system and still get paid. And they have a thing where you call subrogation, where they subrogate you and take it out of your private account as a citizen. You have a bond number on top of your birth certificate and your ID. That's the number that the government have for you as a stock, where they collect money from the, IX, the IMF, the London Stock Exchange, or the New York Stock Exchange, to have hold in a stock for every time they take out and pay the system, members of the system, who create this illegal and lawful system, which is the Monroe's Doctrine, which exploits and rob you of your life, your dailyhood, why most of you can't get out of the slum and can't get over and can't feed your children properly and can't afford proper clothes to put on your body and pay a proper rent. It's because of the same illegal taxation system that these thieves implement to rob you of your dailyhood, your livelihood, and your riches. And you're not benefiting from it. You're being exploited. And you gotta see it for what it really is. Wake up, my people. Okay? Wake out of that sleep. Living, stop living a delusional world. Stop being naive and denial. Get up. Stand up for your rights. Okay? These illegal searching that they're doing on the road when they meet people and just wanna come and search people. That's illegal. You have to give consent. If you don't give consent to that, that's illegal. All these things you gotta you gotta start to take your rights up. Get a constitution and protect your rights and charge these people. Yeah, I'm going to read it here for you now. Except with his own consent, a person shall not be subject to a search of his person or his property or the entry by others on his premises. On his premises, you're not, they shall not search you without your own consent as a citizen. Now, as Aboriginal, they have no rights, so they're not going to get no consent. And they don't, no, there is no law that's going to give them rights because this is the Aboriginal land. They have to respect that. They're here by treaties. They're supposed to be paying the Aboriginal people. But because they create the security forces with the gun and the badges, they feel that they have the power. So they also violate the treaties that they rate the right and shake hand with to protect the Aboriginal people and their own constitution, which is also protection of the Aboriginal people too. They're thieves. People, wake up. Okay? Do not consent to them to a search. Challenge them. Charge them. And find them. Make sure they pay. You hear I just read for you? Any unlawful detention, unlawful taking of property, any illegal charges, make sure compensation come to you. Charge these thieves. Wake up. People. You won't have a, a time to come when you go wish you got me here for talk for all you know. Put all the rights in them. Start standing up. All these. Look at it again. I'm going to give you another script about it. Protection of freedom of conscience. Except for his own consent. A person shall not be hindered in the enjoyment of his freedom of conscience. Include freedom of thoughts and of religion. Freedom to change his religion or beliefs. And freedom either alone or in community. With others or both in public and in private to manifest and to promulgate in religions our belief in worship, teachings, practice, and observance. So them can't tell you how to think. 
Then can't tell you what kind of religion you must make up a week or do. Then can't tell you if it's an Aboriginal group going and take back your life and living. They can't tell you nothing. My youth is in the own constitution. Get it? You see me? Okay. Protection of freedom of expression. Again, we're going to go straight to you. Except with his own consent, a person shall not be hindered of the enjoyment of his freedom of expression. Include freedom to hold and express opinions without interference. My youth, how them could tell you, watch your mouth and watch your say. As long as you not pass no degrading word, you know, that is going to inclinate you and a charge to say somebody is this or that. Okay? As long as you're just saying words that protecting your rights and talking for your rights and speaking of the truth. Them can't tell you what to say. Get it straight. Yeah? Get it straight, people. Stop with these thief. Again, eh? Protection of freedom of assembly and association. Hear that, go there. Except with his own consent, a person shall not be hindered in the enjoyment of his freedom of assembly and association. That is to say the right to assemble freely and associate with other persons in a particular or to form belonging to a trade union or to participate and collective groups. Okay? To activities, arrangement, and to form or uh, belong to political parties or other association, organization, instruments, for the protection of his interests. You make them teeth here do, do all it. Who know all it? Who know really depend? I better stand up here. Far those stats and I'm far right there. Right out like donkey. Now I'm gonna go again to you. What you say now? Protection of freedom of movement. You see? So when you're moving around, you don't only walk, but you travel in convoy, which is they refer to as a car. A uh, van truck is the same convoy, plane, a boat. So catch this now. A person shall not be deprived of his freedom of movement. That is to say, the right to move freely throughout St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the right to reside in any part of the state, the right to enter the state, the right to leave the state, and immunity from expulsion from the state. You hear that, my youth? You hear that? You can leave, you can go, you can jump in a plane and fly, you can ride a boat, you can have your convoy. Conveying it for your convenience all over the place. You need no license, no registration. And this is your right. The own constitution protect you for that. And the constitution have nothing to do with license and registration. That's a policy that they make up in the revenue and raiser system. Eh? It is nowhere in the constitution. I was in our office with a lawyer yesterday, and she also confirmed that there is no law about license, but they implement policies so that they could raise taxes. Okay. She ain't nothing to do that part because she signed the barcode and she don't want to defend that part, but she know what they're doing is fraud. She admitted claim out of her mouth. And this is for you people. Get up, wake up, get it, claim, claim. Okay? I just want to state these facts here because I've had a lot of people asking questions that is simply answered in my video, but it's like they go to one is and come to the other and I don't know what for them they can't comprehend. They could comprehend watching a, a naked porn video with a man and a woman doing some nude or disgusting thing. They could comprehend it very easy. But I'm explaining things in a plain way for you and you can't comprehend it. Are your, brain, are your brain so tied up? Are you so lost? Why can't we wake up? Why can't we see that one and one would equivalent to two and not three? You understand? Why can't we wake up and see? And we can put it in the realistic way that if you have one and one as two figure, it's basically 11. So I'm going to put it in a basic way for you. So, you know what I mean? If you're going to explain if one plus one, that make two. But if you're going to say one and one, it's 11. So I'm going to give you the both, you know, controversy of this script. You know, as a way of enlightening you to open your sight towards seeing what is realistic reality and what is fiction my people i'm your brother with love peace and unity tonic man has to say for his people please get a constitution get the treaties do the necessary stuff to get yourself away from being a corporate ward and become free whether you're a corporate ward or not get the constitution read it out and protect your rights from these thieves because you still don't have to pay for no license and registration for no such vehicle it is called thief and robbers. It's exploitation. A revenue raises. 
as a so-called tax. It is not in the Constitution. There is no license act. When the Queen came here to sign the treaties to occupy the land, she are only to occupy the cities, not the rest part of the islands, which would be the mountains and other places, which the politician use create the policy thieves, which they call forest trees, to go into the mountains and try to thief our lands. Because they feel that they nationalize most of the people, but they're wrong. We Aboriginal Moors are back here, and we're taking everything back from them. We're going to stand up for what is right. We have the treaties, we know the constitution, we know international and regional law, and we know how to protect our rights, and we are going to trample the beasts. We're going to come after them. Legally, we're not going to come fighting with guns and bombs like they think they can try. We're going to deal with them legally. We're going to shut the court down, and we're going to win them in every aspect of this. Peace, love, and unity. Take a stack of my people. Stand up for what is right. Do not sleep anymore. Amen.